Tesla's self-driving cars are literally broken? Let's find out. Tesla announced two massive recalls recently related to issues with its vehicle software. One of the recalls ordered Tesla to roll back a self-driving feature that caused the company's car to break the law. While Elon Musk said there were no safety issues, federal officials disagree. Let's discuss the details of the failures and why these cars are doing more harm than good, at least for now. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Tesla's first recall recently involved a feature that enabled users to program their Teslas to slow down, but not completely stop at all way intersections with stop signs under very specific conditions. The company first introduced the so-called rolling stop feature back in October 2020 as part of an update to its full self-driving beta software. This advanced version of Tesla's autopilot driver assistance technology is only available to a limited number of Tesla owners who pay $12,000 for the upgrade. And it's obviously famously controversial. Despite the name, the full self-driving software doesn't actually turn Teslas into fully independent vehicles, but it does give drivers access to semi-autonomous features. The recent recall of the rolling stop feature affected all 53,822 Teslas that had upgraded to full self-driving. It's unclear exactly how unsafe Tesla's rolling stop feature was in practice. No warranty claims or injuries were reported to Tesla, and the system only worked if the car was driving at very slow speeds. Elon Musk claimed that the speed was 2 miles per hour, while official NHTSA notes say it was 5.6 miles per hour. Nonetheless, rolling through stop signs is illegal in most places, no matter how slow you're going. As NHTSA noted in a letter to Tesla, failing to stop at a stop sign can increase the risk of a crash. Tesla has now released a software update to address the recall. Tesla's second recall came after the NHTSA said that more than 817,000 Teslas could have a faulty seatbelt feature. The agency said that these vehicles, in certain cases, wouldn't produce a clear chime when people forget to put on their seatbelts, a problem that Tesla is planning to resolve, again, with a software update. These are just the two most recent Tesla safety-related software updates. The automaker has originated nine recalls within the past three months, and federal safety regulators opening investigations into the company now feel like this is a regular occurrence. At the same time, some of the problems that the software updates are meant to address seem to be continuing or, in some cases, worsening. For example, Tesla issued a recall and, of course, a software update following reports last fall that vehicles using autopilot would break without warning after their computers detected dangers that didn't actually exist. But this phantom braking issue actually appeared to get worse in the months following the recall, possibly because Tesla decided to stop using radar-based sensors in favor of cameras on some vehicle models. Federal officials are again consulting the company about how to address the problem. It looks like Tesla is also using software updates to forestall potential recalls too. Last year, the company released a feature called Passenger Play that lets people play video games in Tesla's touchscreens while the vehicles were in motion. But after NHTSA announced an investigation into the feature, Tesla issued a software update in December to disable passenger play while the car is in motion. Last August, the agency correspondingly announced an official investigation into 11 crashes involving Tesla vehicles with autopilot or traffic-aware cruise control engaged that hit stopped emergency vehicles with their lights flashing. And then Tesla pushed a related software update a few weeks later. That prompted NHTSA to ask the company in October why it didn't file a formal recall notice, implying that Tesla may have used the update as a stealth recall. Tesla cars also tend to crash into people and poles, like this one time back in August 2020. A Tesla on autopilot crashed into a police vehicle. Two officers were standing in front of the vehicle, only making a narrow escape as the Tesla Model S brushes past them. Another video posted to YouTube recently showed the shocking moment a Tesla car operating in full self-driving beta mode in San Francisco suddenly veered towards a cyclist, who was unaware of the danger the vehicle placed him in. Another incident involved a couple crashing into a fire truck. 
Derek Monet was driving on Interstate 70 in Indiana on December 29, 2019, with his car in autopilot mode, when it crashed into the rear of a fire truck that was stopped on the freeway after responding to an earlier accident. Monet's spine and femur were broken in the collision, and his wife Jenna died from her injuries. The husband of the woman who was killed has filed a lawsuit accusing the company and its founder, Elon Musk, of deceiving the public with unfounded claims about the capabilities of its self-driving system. I think the lawsuit is completely fair and deserved. What do you guys think about this? Anyway, this wraps up our video for today. Do you guys think that self-driving cars are safe? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel while you're at it.